First of all, I want to thank everyone for coming out. He um he hit it right on the point. He he put me on blast. <laughs> I wasn't expecting none of that. I was just expecting a, a ten TED talk, like everyone else. But I want to speak on the center, on the behalf of the center. You know, I mean, in the community as a whole, we just had um the same problem occur, ninety six to two thousand and one. The same center where you guys are sitting at was shut down. And it was a whole lot of kids that lost their life. You know what I mean? Lost their role models. Lost a whole lot of hope. You know what I mean? So if I looked up to you as a role model, you was no longer here to shoot me how to teach me how to shoot a basketball, which is a field located outside. Teach me how to hit a baseball. You know what I mean? It was no guidance no more. So everyone was running wild. You know what I mean? So you had the foster home running around here. You had kids that was going to jail. You had kids that was getting killed. So when this incident came back up again, it had the community shook up. We was worried about this whole center because this is the heartbeat of our community. You know what I mean? This is the heartbeat of the community. I'll say it again, why? Because it's not this a center where everyone come like, oh, this is the Boys and Girl Club. Not this, the last shot at those guys, but just saying like a daycare, for instance. Hey, drop your kids off here. Everyone allow here, because it's a community center. And why we say that, it's for the community, not this one person. Hey, you come in here. Hey, your son can't come tomorrow. You able to come in here and enjoy a moment with your child. You know what I mean? And really benefit from it. And while we say, and I love Justin for the whole theory of changing it into the Watts Empowerment Center, so you can have a story to look back on for a child. Say, for instance, I would use myself because I was able to get empowered by this center. Just off the simple fact of me putting my hard work, my effort, just being me. I don't want nothing back from it, you know what I mean? Because this is my community. I be, you know what I mean? I hold myself responsible for anything that happened here at my community center. So then for being hired here in my community center to look over my nieces, my nephews, my friend kids, the guys that from the 96 to the 2001 when it was shut down, that's no longer here with us due to incarceration, to death. I'm able to be that father figure now to that child. You know what I mean? To let them know that their parents love them. You know what I mean? I enjoyed that same moment with their parents. To let them know that it's a bigger world outside of this housing development. You know what I mean? So that's why we go to say the whole empowerment. We want a story for a child to come back with a story to impact another child. To say, man, I was empowered at that same center, man. I learned how to read there, man. I learned how to write there. And then the stories that we're looking forward to we provide all type of resource. And it was resources that was not even provided for me when I was a child growing up here. So that's what I really love about it. To see a child walk away smiling, knowing, hey, I just learned how to do my timetables today. That made me feel good, man. Even though the child supposed to learn at school, it made me feel good because he learned here. And it was like, man, we really empowering a kid. You know what I mean? And it really made me feel good inside, but I didn't really want to show it because the child was looking at me. So I didn't want to get real emotional, like it wouldn't look at me crazy or nothing. But I'm just, I'm just so grateful, man, that we didn't go through that whole step again to like, you know what I mean? Lose the child to death and sit, you know what I mean? Incarceration, whatever, man. And I'm just happy that I can be a part of this whole thing that's going on, that's taking place, man. And I have a whole lot of role models and a whole lot of people to look up to, man. And whatever little knowledge that I can bring back to the community, that's what I'm going to do. And I don't want to be awarded. I don't want to be looked at for nothing. I just want to just be me and be here for my community. You know what I mean? And let a child know, you know what I mean? You can be loved. You can be helped. And there's some of the children that's outside of these doors that's outside in this community, don't hear that on an everyday basis. 
So when they arrive here, if they go to, hey, I don't have homework. We provide homework and everything for them. So the moment they finish, I let them know, man. Hey, you know I love you, right? Oh, he said he love you. But at the same time, he feel good. And I had a child to come back and tell me, hey, Yang, why you tell me you love me? Because I love you, bro. You're my little friend, man. Hey, my mom ain't told me she love me. Why you love me? Because I love you, man. I see the genius in you, bro. And that child then took his D all the way to a B. And that's what I really love about that. Like, this all the simple fact of him feeling the love when he come into this building. And it be the littlest thing that we overlook. We thinking that it got to be something real big. Like, hey, man, you got to apply this pressure. You got to apply. No, man, sometimes it's the littlest things right here in this community, such as, I love you, bro. Oh, man. I ain't never heard nobody say I love me. You know what I mean? And it be the littlest things. And I'm telling you guys because I had it happen to me. And I growed up outside those doors. And I was looking for somebody to tell me, hey, man, I love you, man. You a genius, man. Tell me something, man. Tell me, I, you know what I mean? I can be something in life. And I'm just happy again. And I want to thank you guys. I don't want to hold up too much time. I want to thank you guys for allowing me to speak. Thank you very much.